Hey everyone, so I'm working on this old Goodman package heat pump and the owner wants to see if the heat is working and the AC is working. So we can see that the AC is working. I don't know if it's working well. So we're gonna check the heat strips and see if the heat strips come on. The best way to do that is to check amperage. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is take that top panel off. But to check the heat strips, there's a panel down here. I was using my screwdriver, but it's taking a little long, so I'm gonna walk to the truck, get my drill. All right, those are the heaters down there. This is where we're going to check for amperage. So you're going to put your meter in amps. I put a link to this meter in the description. This is the one I like to use. It's really simple. Just look in this description. There's a link there. Okay. We're going to check one of those. And we have zero amps. All right. So since we have no amps on those heat strips, we're going to see if the unit is calling for the heat. All right, we put our meter in voltage. Then we're going to check on white. And we're gonna check common. Oh, they don't have a common on here. Let's see. Oh, yep, they do. Okay, here we go, common. Let's just check real quick. Common to red make sure that's right yep okay so now we're gonna go from common to white and we have a call for the heaters on common to white so we're going to go down here and see if we have 24 volts on the heat strip sequences okay so we're gonna go on the coil the coil on these sequencers on the bottom so there's one there one there okay let's get one lead on there like that and one lead on there like that okay oh we have 25 volts on the sequencer okay now this is a good lesson for you guys We're going to check if this sequencer is closing or not, okay? Keep your meter on voltage. Put one lead on one side of the sequencer, one lead on the other. If we have zero volts, that sequencer is not closing. Remember, if you have a switch, a switch looks like this. Voltage is coming through here. When these are connected, the voltage that's sitting here is gonna go through here, right? If you have a switch and that switch is open, looks like this. If it's closed, looks like this, okay? Voltage is going through, voltage cannot go through. If the switch is open and you put one lead on one open side and one lead on the open side, if the switch is open, it's going to read voltage. This is why your voltmeter subtracts. This is what I mean. If there's 120 volts here on this wire and there's a motor here, that 120 volts will go through this wire to this motor. Your meter subtracts, which means if this is open, there's voltage on this side and no voltage on this side, 120, Minus zero equals 120. If the switch is closed and you put your meter on both sides, there will be 120 on each side. 120 minus 120 is zero. Okay, let's recap. If you measure across a switch and it says zero, that switch is closed. If you measure across a switch and it reads voltage, that switch is open. That's to explain what I just showed. Okay, let's check the other one. Here we go. 
All right, I'm gonna do this without holding the camera. Okay, what we have here is a bad sequencer. It has 24 volts on the bottom, but the sequencer is not closing. So that's what's going on with this system. Okay. If you learned something from this, if you like this, please remember to like and subscribe. Have a good day.